After Twitter takeover, Elon Musk promises cocaine in Coke. Days after buying Twitter, Elon Musk announced what he wants next. The outspoken Tesla CEO revealed that he would soon buy Coca-Cola to put the cocaine back in. He tweeted, "Next, I am buying Coca-Cola to put the cocaine back in." On Tuesday, Musk bought a hundred percent stake in Twitter for approximately four dollar billion, around fifty-four point two zero dollar per square, and all of it in cash. The microblogging site had been evaluating Musk offer for the past several weeks. Musk previously said Twitter has extraordinary potential and he wanted to unlock it all. Twitter's board at first enacted an anti-takeover measure known as poison pill that could have made a uh, takeover attempt prohibitively expensive. But when Musk outlined the financial commitments, he would line up to back his offer of $46.5 billion. And no other bidders emerged the board open negotiation with him. Neutrality won't help stop war, says Ukraine Foreign Minister on India position exclusive. The Russia-Ukraine war continues unabated. More than two months after Russian President Vladimir Putin announced the invasion in the televised address on February 24, in the days since then, countries across the globe have taken a side or chosen not to. India belongs to the second category. India has maintained that it is on the side of the peace and appeal to both Russia and Ukraine to end the war. However, it has consistently abstained from taking an explicit position against either of the two countries at war. In an exclusive interview with India Today Consulting Editor Rasdeep Sardesha, Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dimitro Kuleba said on Wednesday that neutrality is a position that does not help in stopping the war. He said he appreciated the sympathy coming from the leadership of India for Ukraine. He also appreciated the position of India that the war must stop. At the same time, I must mention that under these circumstances, neutrality is the position that doesn't help in stopping the war. The best way to stop the war is to support Ukraine and leave Russia with no illusion that it may win the war. So, in my view, in times when you have an official. When you have an obvious criminal and a victim of his crime, it's moral and politically wise duty to be on the side of the victim, he added.